Ah yes, cable management, possibly the most overlooked aspect of a computer build. And I know what you guys are thinking, who cares? Cable management's all for show. If the cables inside look like a bird's nest in my case, what's the big deal? My bird has to have somewhere to build a nest, right? Okay, well, first of all, that's a terrible way of looking at it. Or, or is it? I mean, I guess it does bring up a really good question. Is cable management really just for looks or is there a performance element to it? Let's find out. All right, so we're gonna have three scenarios. A PC that's built with the cables unmanaged, a PC that's built with the cables managed, and an extremely unmanaged, like over the top uh, hyperbole scenario. And the methodology is fairly simple. So we turned on the system and ran Intel burn test and Furmark to get the peak operating temperatures in each situation. So this is what a system with unmanaged cables look like if you're a lazy person or if you're just in a rush to get your system up and running. So how well will this system fare in terms of performance? Well, in Furmark, we hit a max GPU temperature of 68 degrees Celsius with our CPU hitting a maximum of 48 degrees Celsius. Moving along, this is to me what a managed cable system is gonna look like. So if you took the time and effort to tidy everything up and the PC's interior is super clean and you've got a, a case that's designed for good cable management, well, here we hit a max GPU temperature of 68 degrees and a max CPU temperature of 46 degrees, all right? <clears throat> so it's looking like it's just for show so far. And this, my friends, is what we call the rat's nest. Actually, we called it a bird's nest, but whatever, terminology can change in the middle of the video. Don't worry about it. So Jack actually even went as far as to take a bunch of extra cables that the system didn't need at all to sort of simulate like a non-modular power supply and then, okay, so he went a bit overkill. There's a lot of extra cables. And then he had some fun adding even more stuff to it. And using this methodology, we managed to hit a max GPU temp of 68 degrees, so the GPU is unaffected, and 53 degrees for the CPU. Okay, so those numbers do sound pretty insignificant. While the GPU stayed pretty much the same, the CPU temp fluctuated about seven degrees, but uh, you have to keep in mind, there are things that we couldn't test for in this situation, like dust buildup on the dangling cables eventually, which could lead to, well, more restricted airflow, but uh, yeah, overall it's kind of looking like it's, it's, it's for looks. So then let's say you do want to, you know, do it up for looks. What are some tips for cable maintenance? Well, the first tip would be that cable ties are your friends. They cost practically nothing and will definitely come in handy when you want to cinch things down and tighten them up a little bit. Velcro ties are another crucial tool in the cable management arsenal simply because they're reusable and I personally think they actually look quite nice if you have you know, tasteful ones. Another great cable management trick is obviously to have a modular power supply. So the benefits include less clutter in the form of unused cables and being able to use custom sleeving or custom lengths of cables from from companies like cable mods. Not only will the PC get better airflow, which as we all know, looks like it's really not that big of a deal. It will look ballin as well, which basically comes back down to looks. And finally, when cable managing, tip number three, try your hardest to keep the cables that are behind the motherboard tray as flat as possible. That way you will have an easier time putting the side panel back on. So in the end, cable management, is it worth it? Well, the numbers say it doesn't matter. But then again, you don't want to be that guy who has the aardvark's kit nest in your case, do you? I didn't think so. All right, thanks for watching, guys. Click over here for previous videos and check out the team over here on social media. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more videos like this from NCIX. Couldn't think of an animal. It's like alphabet. I don't know.